This video is a tutorial that will show you how to use Studio Mode in OBS Studios. Stay tuned for the details. If you're in a struggle to gain 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch minutes, you have come to the right place. We discuss YouTube strategy, software, and hardware for video production at your desk using a Windows 10 PC. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification for new tutorials that are coming soon. So what does the studio mode parameter do for you? Well, it simply allows you to see a preview of the scene that you select before going live with the screen. If you click the studio mode button, it'll give you two windows to choose from. The one on the left called preview obviously is the preview screen. It's the not it's the non live screen and then the program screen on the right. Program is sort of the, you know, live stream production terminology for the live screen. I, like, I, would, I would think the word live screen would be more appropriate, but it's called the program screen. That's what the actual visitor will see when you're living the software. Now, it kind of has a limitation in that you really only have one visual representation of the scene on the left. You have to click your scenes to see all your different frames to make the choice. Wouldn't it be absolutely fantastic if you had more visual frames to choose from uncheck studio mode and go to view sub choice multi view windowed and what it will do is provide a little pop-up screen here now you'll want to probably resize this thing so that it fills the available space on your computer a little bit I'm going to drag mine out so that I can get sort of a better view as to what's going on here and it gives you the preview mode right at the top or left the program view and then eight the first eight scenes previews that you can choose from isn't that fantastic so if you you can drag this thing around and put it anywhere you want in my case I have two screens so if I drag it over to my other screen let me give you a little example of what this looks like it's pretty cool so there's my one screen showing all the previews and there's my live screen. Pretty cool, right? So having two screens when streaming, if you can, if you, if you have some side cache and you want to buy another screen, having that second screen is so very, very advantageous for you because it's great to have that extra real estate. Let, let me show you real quick here. I'm just going to click through my screens. Here's the 2020 Happy New Year screen. Here is a scrolling screen. You can see the camera. I got a camera and a camera, a camera view and a camera. All these different views that I use in my various live streaming and it makes it so much easier so much incredibly easier to manipulate these things when you can actually see the screen so I highly recommend that you use this technique it's fantastic I highly recommend if you have the cash to go out and just buy another cheap monitor because having a second monitor with your setup is just so advantageous so go out and get it done because it's really great to have that second screen not only can you have this uh, multi view screen up for your studio mode but you can also share that space with the YouTube comment section. You can, you can view the comments with, as well on that second screen. Now, if you're interested, click this video right here and it will discuss how to set up a scene switching on OBS. I think you'll really like it. It's a very popular video. Thanks for coming in. I'll talk to you later.